Like everyone else in this world, I've really been into wearing the Air Jordan 1 High silhouette. I'm back again with yet another pickup, this time with a collaboration between the Jordan 1 and Nike SB, dubbed as the NYC to Paris. The shoes are primarily composed of this leather upper, and is unique in the sense that it takes on two colorways. Upon first glance, these are taken over by the light bone and grey colors. However, you can see underneath that are hues of crimson and pink that become much more present after wearing them for some time. With these being a collaboration with Nike SB, the wipe away colors will technically appear when you skateboard with these, but let's be real, most people including myself won't be skating in these. You can get further glimpses of the Nike SB aspect of this collaboration through the logoing on the tongue. Otherwise, you get your usual Jordan 1 details such as the nylon tongue, assortment of flat laces, and wings logo at the ankles. People all over the internet have been customizing their pairs to their own liking, which is super cool. The Jordan 1 in general, to me, is like a canvas that gets better with the age, similar to say something like an all-white Chuck Taylor. This wipe away feature to me is great because it allows people to wear these sneakers like their own canvas. As I mentioned earlier, this colorway is dubbed as the NYC to Paris, as both cities were important geos in the historical timelines of both Jordan brand and skateboarding. I read this online, and supposedly New York City is represented with the grey and sail color to show the city's grittiness, while the light pink symbolizes the city of Paris's vibrancy. Execution-wise, the wear-away color blocking is cool, but conceptually, to me, it's kind of a stretch. It's like Jordan Brand was trying to create a story for the sake of creating one. Let me know if you disagree in the comment section. This specific pair came out in tandem with the LA to Chicago colorway back in May of 2019, with both selling out on sneakers almost instantly. It's interesting though, as the LA to Chicago colorway was the more popular one and is going for a crazy amount in the resale market. In contrast, this NYC to Paris colorway was sitting in stores for a long while, which is weird to me, especially for a collaborative sneaker. I guess this colorway wasn't for everybody. Both colorways serve as a follow-up to Jordan Brand and Nike SB's collaboration with the Lance Mountain ones that released in 2014. Similarly, Nike SB is no stranger to that idea of wipe away coloring, with it being present through past dunks in their lines. Even historically, there are deep ties between Jordan Brand and the sport of skateboarding, as skateboarders in the 1980s love skating Jordan 1s. As far as price goes, I bought these from Rescue for way under the $175 retail price. I was able to walk away with them for around $80, and in gently worn condition. The resale price on these is starting to slowly rise, and I predict that these will skyrocket in value as the years progress. I'm not too concerned though, as I plan on wearing these for the years to come and watch them turn into my own custom creations, showing my own unique wear pattern over time. I'd love to know what you guys think of this pair of the Nike SB and Jordan 1 New York City to Paris. Do you like this pair? Is it something you'd wear? Let me know all about in the comment section. If you like content like this, let me know by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. Whether you stumbled upon the video through a YouTube search or are just a loyal subscriber, I'd like to thank you all for watching because you're contributing to the growth of this channel. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.